Hello, in this problem, I'm going to show you how to find the matrix for a linear transformation. This is a topic that a lot of people have a hard time with, um, so I'm going to try to explain it. So let's just do a simple example. Say we have a linear transformation, t, and it takes x1, comma x2, and let's just say that goes to um, 2x1 plus, let's say, x2, and then how about um, x1, and then 3x1 plus x2. So t takes uh, a vector in R squared, because this is two dimensions, and it takes it to a three-dimensional vector. So in this case, t maps R squared into R cubed. And the question is, what is the matrix for this linear transformation? So the idea is to think about it uh, a certain way. So really, you can think of you can think of this, okay, as a column vector, okay. And then now I'm going to take t and write it a different way, just to show you, just to try to explain it. So I'm going to just keep this the same, but I'm going to write it like this. Watch this. So this is really two x one x two. x1, and then 3x1 plus x2. So you see it kind of looks like a matrix, right? And in fact, it is. Um, this is a matrix. So if you think about it very, very carefully, um, you could pr pretty much insert a zero here. Okay, and then you can take this matrix here, A, and so this matrix here would be 2, 1. That's the coefficient there. You see that? The coefficient is 1, and then 1, 0, and then 3, 1. You see, 1, 0, 3, 1. Just the coefficients, 2, 1, 1, 0, 3, 1. You can get it from here too, right? Look, 2, 1, that's your first row. 1, 0, that's your second row. 3, 1, that's your third row. So what, is, what are we even doing? What is, what is happening here? So now we can think about it a different way. So now I'm going to use the vector notation. So t of x1, x2 is actually equal to 2, 1, 1, 0, 3, 1 times um, x1, x2. It's actually the same thing, right? This the claim is that this is the same thing as what we started with. And it is, right? It actually is. If you multiply this out, this is a 1, 2, 3 by 2 matrix. This is a 2 by 1 matrix, or just a column vector. So when you multiply this, you're going to get a 3 by 1 matrix. So we'll get three rows and one column. So let's do it. Let's multiply it. 2 times x1 is 2 times x1. 1, plus, 1 times x2 is 1 times x2. So plus that. 1 times x1, 0 times x2. 3 times x1, 1 times x2. So you see this is exactly what we have at the beginning. So this is the same thing people write it, instead, they write it like this. They write it at 2x1 plus x2, x1, 3x1 plus x2. So that's why it's the same. And you can use shorthand for this, right? You can write this as ax. Even more succinctly, I think that's the word, I can't, I can't say it. <laughs> you can write it like this. Okay, so that's the idea. So you can get the matrix right away. So let's let's just do another one really quickly just to show you how easy it is. So like let's say we have, let's go nuts. Well, maybe not nuts, but let's say we have um, x1, x2, um, x3. And let's say this is going to be um, 1 half x1 plus x2 plus x3. And then here we have... Um, uh, let's see, x2 minus x3, and then here we have x1 plus x2 plus x3 over 4. So in this case, we can just write the matrix right away. We have 1 half, 1, 1. That's the first, that's the first row of our matrix. 0, right? There's no x1 here, so it's really a 0 x1. So 0, 1, minus 1. And then 1, 1, 1 fourth. 1, 1, 1 fourth. That would be your matrix. Again, you just get it. First row, second row, third row. Super easy. And then if you think of this as your vector x, you really have tx equals ax. That's your, 
uh, matrix representation for your um, linear transformation. Pretty cool that you can do that with um, linear transformations. That's a key thing. And I think a lot of people have a hard time um, finding the matrix given the linear transformation. So, and yeah, hopefully this video has been helpful to someone in the world. Good luck.